As you now know, Miss Lauren's favorite fairy tale is The Princess and the Pea. Now I present you the original version in shadow puppetry. So here it is in all its glory. Come with me and imagine the story. The Princess and the Pea by Hans Christian Andersen. Once upon a time, there lived a handsome young prince. He wanted very much to find a princess with whom he could share his kingdom, but he insisted that she be a real princess. He traveled far and wide and met many great princesses. Some were slender and some were stout. Some had hair pale as the moonlight, while others had hair as black as night. But although he searched high and low, the prince could not find anywhere a princess he wanted to marry. There was something wrong with every one of them. Not a one was a real princess, and so the prince went home to his palace. He was very sad, for he so wanted to find a real princess. One night, there was a terrible storm. The wind howled and thundered and lightning crashed. The wind poured down in great sheets. Suddenly, there came a knocking at the palace door. The old queen went down herself to answer it. Standing outside was a princess. She did not look her best, for she was completely soaked. Water streamed from her long golden hair, and her dress was a terrible sight. Nevertheless, she insisted that she was a real princess and begged for shelter for the night. The old queen looked the visitor up and down. I'll soon find out if she's a real princess, she said to herself, and she welcomed the girl inside. The queen went upstairs to the bedroom. She quickly pulled all the bedclothes from the bed and placed a single pea in the center of the mattress. She ordered the servants to fetch 20 feather mattresses and piled them on top of the pea. 20 feather beds were piled on top of the mattresses and right at the very top was where the princess was to sleep. The next morning, when everyone woke, the princess came downstairs. The queen asked her, did you sleep well? Oh, no, replied the princess. It was terrible. I can't imagine what was in the bed, but it was terribly hard and lumpy. I'm afraid I'm black and blue all over. As soon as she spoke, everyone saw that she was indeed a real princess. Only a true princess would feel a single pea through 20 mattresses and 20 feather beds. So the prince, who had fallen in love with her at first sight, immediately asked her to be his bride. The wedding was held that very week. I am happy to say that the princess looked every bit as lovely as a real princess should. As for the pea, it was placed in a museum, and for all I know, it is there to this day. The end.